Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, meine lieben Geschwister. Mein Name ist Jibril und wir gehen heute zusammen zu einem Video, welches heißt The Throne of Allah. Ein sehr, sehr mächtiges Video. Auf diesem Kanal gibt es regelmäßig Videos. Wenn ihr ein Video habt, zu dem ich reacten soll, dann postet den Link doch bitte in die Kommentare. Wir starten jetzt direkt in das Video. Ich zähle wieder mal auf drei. Eins, zwei, drei. Let's go. Was ich immer sagen kann, ich liebe einfach diese Intros. All the praise is for Allah, who is the author of all existence and the most generous to his creation, while he is also the all compelling. He is the only one worthy of our worship, having no partners, no associates, no sons, no daughters, no one whom he must consult, and no one or anything which has any comparison with him. Also er sagt, nur Allah alleine hat das Recht angebetet zu werden, er hat keine Partner, er hat sich keinen Sohn genommen, er ist der Absolute und der Ewige. All the praise is for Allah, who is the King of all who claim sovereignty, the only one who has the right to legislate for his creatures. He is the giver of life, he is the causer of death, while death has no effect upon him, because he is the ever-living, the self-subsisting, the eternal and the only absolute. All the praise is for Allah, who has power over all things, and there is in reality no power and no strength, no influence to cause benefit or detriment except through him. Also er hat alles unter Kontrolle. Er ist der Einzige, er ist der Ewige, der Absolute, der Herrscher am Tage des Gerichts, meine lieben Geschwister. It is he who created this complex world, the seen and the unseen, the evident and the speculative. The earth and all that is on it and everything that is in it. Es ist er, der alles kreiert hat. Alles, was auf der Erde ist, in den Himmel und alles, was dazwischen ist. It is he who sent his messengers and prophets, alayhum salam, with the common message of strict monotheism. Es ist er, der alle Propheten gesandt hat. Also wir glauben an einen allmächtigen Gott und an alle Propheten. Which simply means that there is absolutely no one worthy of worship, no one worthy of our obedience, except the Almighty. Und sie alle kamen mit einer Message, und das war, einen Gott anzubeten und ihm nichts gleichzustellen. The one, the absolute, and who has no partners. The earlier messages, which changed the world in the area in which the prophets were sent those messages we know have changed and even the prophets who brought them their names are now lost also er sagt die früheren schriften die es gab heiligen schriften die wurden verändert we just know in general because allah told us in the quran walaqad ba'athna fi kulli ummatin rasula I've sent to every nation a messenger calling people to worship Allah alone and to avoid the worship of false gods. Also Allah hat zu jeder Nation einen Gesandten geschickt, der mit der Message kam, nur ihn alleine anzubeten und nicht irgendeinen falschen Gott. This essential message has been preserved 
in Islam in a way that it was never preserved before. Not because the message was different, because it was the same message, but because of the fact that there would be no other prophets who would come after Muhammad So therefore that message now had to be protected. It had to be preserved in a way none of the earlier messages were preserved. I will relate this. What you say, you have come to know 40 years back. <clears throat> and what you call the Big Bang is already mentioned in the book which I read, the glorious Quran. It's mentioned 1400 years ago. Das ist Dr. Zekir Naik und er erzählt gerade über die Wissenschaft im Koran. In Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 30, which says, Avalam yaral lazine kafru. Do not the unbelievers see. Anna samawati wal arda. Ka natarat kanfutak nahuma. That the heaven and the earth were joined together and we clove them asunder. What you're talking about, the Big Bang. I try to imagine compressing a spring. I push it closer and closer and closer together so it's smaller and smaller and smaller and I've stored a tremendous amount of energy in that spring and when I let it go it bursts out it bursts out it bursts out the creation of the also das was man vor 1400 Jahren schon im Koran lesen konnte über den Urknall das hat man erst natürlich in dieser heutigen Zeit mit fortgeschrittenen Technologien rausgefunden wie viele viele andere wissenschaftliche Dinge im Koran zu finden sind universe which you came to know 40 years back is already mentioned in this book the glorious Quran 1400 years ago who could have mentioned that in the Quran so the atheist will say maybe someone wrote maybe it's a fluke maybe it's a guesswork a human being regardless of who they are or where they are or what they do will have this curiosity they'll want to know why am I here how did I get here and do I have a purpose and if so what is it Also jeder der tiefgründig über das Leben nachdenkt der fragt sich selber wieso bin ich hier was ist der Sinn des Lebens The only one who would really be able to answer that question would be the creator himself Und der einzige der diese Frage beantworten kann das ist Gott selbst If there is a creator it would be up to him to tell us why we were created and what he expects from us and what this life is really about also wir beten nicht die Schöpfung an, sondern den Erschaffer der Schöpfung. Und wenn es einen Schöpfer gibt, der uns erschaffen hat, dann muss es seine Aufgabe sein, uns mitzuteilen, wer er ist. Allah has shown the people from the time of Adam until right now, has shown the people what he wants from them. And it's a very simple thing. And that is that worship be for him alone without any partners. Und das Wichtigste eigentlich, was Allah von uns will, was Gott von uns will, das ist, dass wir ihn alleine anbeten und ihm nichts gleichstellen. Keine Partner, kein Sohn, der er sich genommen hat, sondern nur ihn alleine anbeten. In fact, we know this life to be a test from Almighty God. That's why we're born and that's why we die. Because there has to be a beginning and an end for us to be tested on. The next life after this life, no one will ever die again. A bad person or a good person. Both are brought back and they continue to live in the next life, either in good shape or not so good shape, depending on how they did on the test. Also, wenn das Leben ein Test ist, dann muss es ja ein Anfang und ein Ende geben. Deswegen werden wir geboren und deswegen werden wir sterben. The worship of the God of Abraham. That was what was taught by these prophets. The Lord of the Arsh and Kursi. We're talking about the Lord of the worlds. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. We're talking about the Lord of the entire universe and beyond. The entire universe and beyond. You know, we live in this dunya and we are fascinated with this dunya which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed has created in a beautiful manner. We're fascinated. There are over billions of people which live on this dunya at this moment in time. Over six billion people that live on the dunya at this moment in time. This dunya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so big that there is space in this dunya for billions and billions and billions of more people. But what is this dunya in comparison to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created out there? This dunya is insignificant. 
This dunya is meaningless to Allah. It means nothing. It is worthless. Also wir reden gerade hier über den Gott, der dieses ganze Universum erschaffen hat. Mit heute, wenn wir es genau nehmen, sind es glaube ich über 8 bis 9 Milliarden Menschen auf dieser Erde. So worthless, compare it with the sun. The sun is one star. You know more science than me. You'll be able to tell me better. Take this planet Earth and you place it inside the sun and you will be able to place 1.3 million Earths in the sun. Wenn man die Erde, ihr müsst euch mal vorstellen, die Sonne ist, man könnte theoretisch 1,3 Millionen Erden in der Sonne platzieren, bis die Sonne ausgefüllt wäre. So groß ist die Sonne im Gegensatz zu der Erde. 1.3 Millionen Erden in der Sonne. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. The sun is one star. Deswegen sagt man Allahu Akbar. Das bedeutet eigentlich nur Gott ist der größte. One star. There are stars out there which are millions of times bigger than the sun. Ihr müsst euch das mal vorstellen. Erstmal wie groß dieses Universum ist, welches Gott erschaffen hat. You need, you tell me this, that you need millions and millions of stars to make one galaxy. And then you tell me this, that there are zillions of galaxies out there. Let me tell you on top of this, my friend. After this, whatever you see above, whatever you see above, When you raise your head and you look above, whatever you see above, the zillions and zillions and zillions of galaxies, let me tell you, this is everything there is within the first heaven. Everything there is within the first heaven and Allah is the creator of seven heavens. Seven heavens! All these Sterne, all that he just aufgezählt hat. Das ist nur im ersten Himmel. All das ist erst im ersten Himmel. Und er hat sieben Himmel erschaffen. Sieben Himmel. Ihr müsst euch das mal vorstellen. Ihr müsst euch mal geben. Subhanallah. And the distance between the first heaven and the second heaven is 500 years. You know, the distance that can be covered in 500 years, at what speed? Only Allah knows. Only Allah knows, but it will take 500 years to get from the first heaven to the second heaven. 500 years from the second to the third, third to the fourth, fourth to the fifth, fifth to the sixth, sixth to the seventh. Every time it will take 500 years. Also vom ersten Himmel bis zum zweiten braucht es 500 Jahre. Und nur Allah weiß, was für Jahre das sind. Und natürlich vom zweiten bis zum dritten bis zum siebten. Und dann... After the seven heavens, Wasi'a Kursiyuhu Samawati Wal Ard. You all read the Ayatul Kursi. You all know the Ayatul Kursi. After this, you have the Kursi of Allah. You have the chair of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Also nach dem siebten Himmel kommt der Thron Allahs. You know these seven heavens that we've just talked about. In comparison to the kursi of Allah, they're non-existent. They're meaningless. Rasulullah has given an example in a hadith just to give us a little bit of understanding with regards to the seven heavens in comparison to the kursi of Allah. Take a ring from your finger, take it off, the small ring that you have, and place it, let's say, in a desert, the Sahara Desert. It's the biggest desert in the world. You know that ring that we take off from our fingers and place it in the Sahara Desert? What, what comparison is in between the ring and the Sahara Desert? Nothing. Nothing. The seven heavens is the ring and the Kursi of Allah is the Sahara Desert. After the Kursi of Allah, You have the arsh of Allah. You have the arsh of Allah. Again, Rasulullah 
has given, has explained, so just so that we can understand. Take the ring, place it in the desert. This time, the ring is the kursi and the arsh is the desert. What is the kursi in comparison to the arsh of Allah? Nothing. Then you have angels which carry the arsh of Allah. Their heads are in the seventh heaven and their feet are in the lowest earth. My friends, then you have the Lord of the earth and the people. لا تدركه الأبصار ويدرك الأبصار وهو اللطيف الخبير. He is beyond the size of Allah. Who Allah is, what Allah is, the greatness of Allah is beyond the comprehension of my little mind. This is the being that you and I are messing with. Meine lieben Geschwister, das war's mit diesem Video. Ich möchte jetzt gar nicht mehr viel zu dem sagen. Auf diesem Kanal gibt es regelmäßig Videos. Wenn euch das Video gefallen hat, dann hinterlasst doch bitte ein Like und abonniert den Kanal. Über einen Kommentar würde ich mich freuen. Eure Meinung ist mir sehr, sehr wichtig. Und inshallah sehen wir uns beim nächsten Video wieder. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.